time, baby, that's a whole lot. Getting paid by the hour and over by a minute. My boss has pushed me over the limit. I like to call him something. I think I'll just call it a day. Call me something tall and strong. Make it a hurricane before I go insane. me again I'm off work chilling out in the truck gonna go grab a few beers take them home put on my comfy pants and do shit might play some video games maybe uh, tomorrow morning so yeah, we had a very productive day at work. You know, got a lot of uh, resurfacing of some of the county roads done. Um, so, tomorrow morning I will be bringing this channel with me, you guys, whoever's watching, over to a Harley Davidson place to swap out my old bike for my new bike. 98 Dyna for an 07 Ultra Glide. And I am looking forward to it being comfortable. Now, Everybody's polarized on different things, you know, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Harley, Victory, who the, f I'm a Harley guy, straight up, 100%, have my reasons, just as anybody else has theirs for whatever the hell it is they like. But my bike was a consignment bike, and it was in, um, I wouldn't say horrible shape when I picked it up, it was in rough shape. It wasn't in the greatest shape. Uh, the sh the shifter was welded to the main shaft. It had drop shocks in it, so it's pretty much a hardtail for the most part. Hitting a pothole in my bike is a painful experience. So, and then I was dumb, and I thought I was still, you know, 20 years old, and I could put up with it. I put 16 inch apes on it. Well, no sir. I do not have uh, cruise control on that bike, so my right hand after about 30 minutes would go numb. Uh, so, it's kind of a bittersweet thing right now, because seriously, this is the first bike, uh, it was one of, the, one of the first vehicles me and my wife actually financed together. Um, it was my very first Harley Davidson. Um, it actually means quite a bit to me. It's got some sentimental value to it. And I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to trade it. I wanted to keep it. But I don't have the money to do to it what I wanted to do to it. I wanted to put steel fenders on it. Basically, I wanted, it's a 98 Dyna Super Glide. I wanted to turn it into a bobber. So Springer front end, um, a different set of bars than the ones I actually have on it right now. Uh, Springer seat, um, swap out the spring suspension for something a little bit more invisible, air suspension or something, I'm not sure. Um, and cut the rear, you'll know, get the two get steel fenders for it, have the steel fender cut to the axle, uh, to the axle point, so it's a short bob fender. And I wanted to send the engine into S&S &S and have them rebuild it with a bigger cam and pistons and all that other fun shit. Throw some aftermarket in, bump the horsepower up a little bit. So it'd be a full body, because a lot of the bobbers you see are like Yama bobbers, you know, 650s and all that nonsense. And so, I mean, they're cool. And, and as big a Harley guy as I am, I love those custom bobbers. But I wanted a bigger one. I wanted a bigger bobber on a bigger frame with a bigger engine. And I thought it would look really cool. And I, I really do. I think it would still look bomb. But that's a $5,000 plus job. I just cannot afford to do that. I uh, Steel fenders alone would probably cost me close to $600, uh, possibly for the pair. Springer front end is $650. I can order that through Harley. They have them. 
Uh, sending the engine into s and and having that rebuilt was without aftermarket parts. Just having it rebuilt stock was like $3,500. Um, suspension aside, new rims, because I have spoke rims on it. I don't like them. I wanted the aluminum rims or mag wheels. Uh, that would have been a few hundred bucks. Like it just, it gets to a point of ridiculousness where I just cannot swing it. I cannot afford to do it. And it sucks. Bittersweet. The sweet side of this is I am getting a 2007 Ultra Glide, 32,000 miles on it. From the fact, from the first owner, original one owner, 32,000 miles. Guy stuck a little bit of money into it. He added some chrome parts to it, chrome pieces. And I'm not a big chrome guy, but it's a black bike, so the chrome works. Um, sunlight's here. We're here. Getting into the screen. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a bittersweet deal. Um, next season, probably next summer. Depending on how things are going with the finances and stuff, I'm probably going to jump on Craigslist and try to pick up. Maybe somebody took an old 883 Sportster and Bob tailed it. If I can find a uh, Harley Sportster, I'll jump on it. If not, I'll settle for like a Yama Bobber or something along those lines. And I'm cool with that. Just, you know, I want it to have, you know, the cafe bar kind of look to it. Uh, I do like the Bobbers that are kicker they have, you know they're kickers but they uh they run like 10 or 12 inch bars i think those are kind of cool you know the handlebars aren't a big deal but my basic thing is you know i, you know, I want to be able to kind of turn it into something i like so it'll be like a flat black paint job with some white pinstriping um and i know a few artists around here that can do it that do that so and do it pretty affordably um, but yeah, you know, Springer seat, short bobtail, fender, just kind of a smaller, just a fun bike to ride. That's, that's what I'm looking for. So hopefully next summer finances are, uh, work, work towards that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do that for now. I'm going to just 96 inch, six speed ultra glide stereo system full fairing so i don't have to fight the wind windshield so i don't have to eat bugs or get smoked in the face and that's not it but that's not what that is that's actually a thing from when i was on dialysis for kidney failure um so yeah uh so that's the update for now uh, thanks for hanging out and watching. Like, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys in the morning. Have a good one.